Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to our Standing Watch program. The recent WikiLeaks revelations have probably caused more damage to the United States of America in respect to its relationship with other countries as most events which recently took place. I'm not sure that in this country we fully realize the extent of the damage. These documents which have been revealed have already caused, and there are apparently a lot more, which are going to be revealed, and the damage will even increase. I'd like to give you a little bit of a glimpse as to how the reactions really were overseas, internationally, insofar as the allies of the U.S. are concerned. Here's an article which was published by the German magazine Der Spiegel, dated November 28, and I'd like to just read an excerpt from it to you. It's first of all talked about 251,000 State Department documents which were released, it goes on to say, it is nothing short of a political meltdown for U.S. foreign policy. Never before in history has a superpower lost control of such vast amounts of such sensitive information. Never before has the trust America's partners have in the country been as badly shaken. It goes on to say, in the major crisis regions, an image emerges of a superpower that can no longer truly be certain of its allies. Later on in the article it says, on the whole, the cables from the Middle East expose the superpower's weaknesses. Then BBC News added the following on November 29. European countries have reacted with irritation to the release of those documents, and I think that's a mild understatement. Of course, there have been lots of politicians who have been given lip services to the concept that, oh, it's really not that bad. They are not kidding anyone, because the relationship is tremendously shaken at this point. I'd like to read to you an article from The Local, a German paper that was published on November 29. It says, former U.S. ambassador to Germany, John Kornblum, who served in Berlin from 1997 to 2001, told broadcaster ZDF, on Monday that the leaks were a crisis for German-American relations. And listen to these comments in certain German papers. Here's one from the Rheinische Post, which called the episode a disaster for America that would cool Angela Merkel's already troubled relationship with Barack Obama. Again, Der Spiegel Online wrote on November 30 that the disclosure is hugely damaging for the American government. It's clear that the revelations are a huge embarrassment for Washington and a massive setback for U.S. diplomacy. The German paper Süddeutsche Zeitung wrote, the damage to the U.S. as a result of the document's publication is immense. America's reserve of trust is empty. WikiLeaks has now acted like a weapon of mass destruction on the last traces of, tr of trust. And then listen to this article by the Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung saying, Mistrust will spread. Leaders of the U.S. allies have been embarrassed in public with unpredictable consequences for the relationship between their countries. See, and that's one of the biggest problems here, that all the leaders of all the allies of the U.S. have been embarrassed. And they're not going to take that lightly. There's an interesting article which was published by Politics Daily, American paper, on November 30, and that is what that paper had to say. Of the many WikiLeaks revelations that have emerged in the past few days, the news that U.S. Dipl diplomats have been turned into part-time spies certainly warrants thorough investigation. Obama administration officials, of course, have tried to make the leak itself the paramount issue. Later on it says, the administration's strategy, as is to be expected, is to focus on the easy-to-demonize messenger not the hard to explain message. It goes on to say in many other nations, news such as this would indeed prompt resignations of high officials. The United States does not have this noble tradition. Here, government officials hold on for dear life when trouble erupts. How many U.S. officials resigned when it turned out the Bush Cheney administration was wrong about weapons of mass destructions in Iraq? None. So one can expect Clinton to dig in her heels as the administration decries the leaker and ignores the leaks. But you see, you can't ignore the leaks much longer. And you have listened to me 
For many, many years I have told you that the reputation of the United States of America will deteriorate, that the United States of America is going to find itself in a position where it's totally isolated in the world. The Bible has clearly prophesied this to happen. I didn't tell you that because I'm that smart. I told you that because the Bible clearly prophesies it. We are seeing now again further and further developments supporting what the Bible has said for thousands of years. My friends, it is high time we wake up. There are many reasons why this is so. When I give programs like that, I'm being accused of trying to put a curse on the United States of America. We got to look at the facts, my friends. See, we are talking about a situation which God analyzes and says we have become an ungodly nation. You may say, oh, how is that so? We are going to keep Christmas pretty soon. We are going to keep Easter. We have just kept Halloween. All these are Christian festivals in worship of the true God of the Bible. Really? Let me ask you, what does a Christmas tree, what does Santa Claus, what does the Easter rabbit, what do Easter eggs, what do the terrible demonic costumes of Halloween have anything to do with the worship with the worship of Jesus Christ, with the worship of God the Father. Absolutely nothing. These are all pagan symbols which have been included and brought into quote unquote Christianity. God hates it. God says, you don't worship me this way. I don't accept this kind of worship. You worship me in truth and in the spirit, not the way pagans worship their sun gods. And you don't look at that and say, oh, I'm going to worship God that way. That's one of the reasons. There are many, many more reasons. That's one of the reasons why God is turning and has been turning his back on this country. We have published a booklet, The Fall and Rise of Britain and America. The fall and rise of Britain and America it gives you many, many more reasons as to why we are seeing the problems we are seeing right now in this country. And let me assure you, my friends, it's going to get worse, not better. Because I don't see much of a hope that this country as a whole is going to repent and to return back to God. Because most people are very happy with what they are doing, thinking they are doing God a favor in keeping, for instance, Christmas a festival totally steeped in pagan practices. My friends, the time will come where many of us will wake up. Unfortunately, then it's going to be too late for many of us because God has said he is not going to be amused by the way we are living. So if you want to learn more about what is happening and why, please read our free booklet, The Fall and Rise of Britain and America. You can find it on our website, www.eternalgod.org or www.standingwatch.org. It's published on both websites, and you can also ask for a hard copy if you would like to have one. I think you need to know what is in store for us and why. And I'll keep you informed, but you can do your part as well. Thanks very much for watching. This is Norbert Link for the Standing Watch Program.